Welcome to introduction to procedural loop development in RenderMan. This is Miguel Geras, and this course is a direct continuation of the introduction to RenderMan materials course. In a specific, you will learn about different RenderMan patterns. First of all, we will learn about how to properly import to the textures to Katana. Then, we will cover the basic procedural noise patterns, such as Boron noise, fractal, and whirly, between others. These nodes will be fundamental to create any procedural shading network, going for a perfectly aligned tiles up to a more organic rock pattern. Additionally, we will learn about different projection types. These are important to create specific details on your materials, regardless the UVs of your model. For instance, you can localize a decal or a graffiti if it's needed. Finally, we would understand how to use different masking methods to create a complex material, which could then be baked to a flat texture. This will make it not only easier to share between artists, but also will optimize it at render time. If you are new to RenderMan and Katana, this will be a general introduction to procedural loop development and it will give you a great idea on how to work without the constraints of painted textures. Without further ado, let's get started.